Okay, so what's going on guys? There's been a game-breaking glitch since the game came out. And that is that you can effectively have a sister jockeying on. And that will guarantee, if you're watching this video right now, it will guarantee, even pro players are guarantees to improve your defense. So the reason why you're struggling is because this exists in the game. Some people are using assisted jockeying and some people are not. Now you're going to be like, what are you talking about? Isn't there a switch where you turn this on and that means in rivals it turns to manual jockeying and in foot champs? No, it doesn't. It's a glitch. And that's why all the pro players have kept their mouth shut. Everyone has kept, even myself. Should I tell you why? It's not because I've done some Samaritan. Now, I actually made this public on my Patreon. So if you're part of my Patreon series, you will know this from day one. But it wasn't just jockeying that was affected. It was dribbling. When the game came out, the problem was, was left stick dribbling was also broken. The game forced agile dribbling animations in left. So if you were played agile, if you played FIFA last year and left stick dribbling, you might be wondering why it's not as good as this year. It's because... There was also an issue where they messed up and they included the animations in Leicester Dribbling. So if everyone opened their mouth about this, they would have patched it and Leicester Dribbling would have gone down the drain. But they didn't have time to fix it, so they left it open. And for those that knew about it, they knew about it, everyone else kept their mouth shut. And that's why I, to, I kept it for my Patreon series, because I have to give something to my Patreon. So you want to subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash normal guides, you can do. But there's also a video I want to show you on my Patreon series, which will explain to you what assisted jockeying is. Because in my opinion, even the pro players are defending the wrong way in FIFA. Yes, that means even your favorite pro player you're watching is defending the wrong way. -er. The, the L2 button is irrelevant. It's the most useless button, in my opinion, in FIFA. The L2 button. Now, what am I talking about, okay? So let me explain this to you, okay? So, um, in, if you're part of my page, check out episode 9. So, I'll show you this as an example, okay? So, this is what assisted jogging is, guys, okay? When you go... And you run towards your opponent is basically like aim lock. So let's say, for example, if you've got... So let me give you a bit of an example, okay? Let's say this is jockeying on, yeah? Your defender, that's your defender, that's your opponent's attacker. Your player basically stays in line with your opponent's attacker. That's what makes it easier for you to defend. And that's what the aim lock is. With manual jockeying, you're on your own. The game doesn't assist you. So if your player moves left and right, it's up to you. So if you try to go defending against your player in your manual, you could overshoot him... And he can then run past you. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Because there's no videos on this on YouTube at all. Not one video that explains this. Um, so, if you run down, look at the game. See how it slows me down? Once I get closer to the ball carrier. So, look at the player blue in blue. Benzema, that's Neymar. I'm running out full speed. And the game is slowing me down when I'm close to the ball. That's what Sister Jockin does. So, if your opponent decides to run away quickly, then slows down... You can basically catch up to him and slow down as well. So the game assists you. It's like basically driving automatic when you're driving a car. When you're manual, the game doesn't help you. So you can just basically speed past your opponent and you get past or you can move to the left. If you go too much, you can get screwed over. So do you see how game breaking that is? It's shocking, isn't it? So that is what assisted jockey. So people don't notice. So the question is, people ask me is, why do I never use jockey? It's because it's the most irrelevant control in the game. In my opinion, every single pro player shouldn't be using it. They all defend the wrong way. You just need to use L2, R2 and use your left down stick to dictate the pace of the running jockey. That's how you should be defending. That's how the pros should be defending, in my opinion. It increases your reaction time, increases your defending, and increases your ability to defend on the ball. Everyone's been defending the entire the wrong for the, for the past six, seven years. So that's what assisted jockeying is doing. So that's why if you're playing right now, the game is not slowing you down like this. And that is why your opponents are just shooting past you and why you can't keep up. So everyone else is playing a different game. I know, it's a shambles. I don't agree it should be in the game. But think about this, why didn't EA patch it? It's because the, the, the game was just broken. They know this. Now, what do I mean about the jockeying? Okay, so let me explain this to you. So... In this, I explain to you which part is it, how to control the speed of running jockey. Now, this you got to pay attention. It's going to be a bit complicated in the beginning, but this is a, a Neil Guides exclusive. No video on the entire YouTube is out there. I've checked when I released this video a couple of years ago. Hardly anyone knows about this, unless you're a nutter like me that lives and breathes this game. If someone does know about it, you're defending the right way. So, when you're going towards the ball and using a left analog stick, as you can see, as dictated on, depicted on your screen, if you move a left analog stick all the way down, that means you're running at 100% of the running jockey speed. 100%. If you then move it in the middle, just ever so, so, so if you get your control in your hand right now, move the left analog stick down, but just hold it in the middle. You see that there, holding it in the middle, not all the way down, in the middle. You feel that resistance. 
you can actually control the speed of the running jockey and make the running jockey slower. Therefore, this L2 button is completely irrelevant because you use your left analog stick to dictate the pace of the running jockey. I don't know why no one knows about this, I'll be honest. Um, for some reason, everyone doesn't do it. They just use it. That's why I never use a normal jockey. It's irrelevant. You don't need to use it. Simple. So what happens is, okay, let me give you an example, okay? So let's say, for example, like here, as you can see my left analog stick, oh my God, wrong button there. As you can see my left analog stick, I am running now at full speed. You see that? So just to give you a bit of a, uh, let me see if I can put this on the screen. I am running like here at full speed. Left analog stick is all the way down, okay, boys? All the way down, okay? Then when I let it play on, you can see my player is running at full speed. Assisted jockeying slows me down. As you can see, that's assisted jockeying coming in, slowing me down. But even if you didn't have assisted jockeying, the way you slow down your running jockey is you move your left analog stick down a little bit. So what I'm doing here is, essentially, I'm not holding the running jockey down all the way like this. I'm basically going like this ever so slightly. And that's what makes the jockeying irrelevant because all you got to do now is just ever so slightly move the left hand down. Look, look how slow Neymar is running with the running jockey. Do you see that? And as you can see, when I go forward, that's full speed. As you can see, I ease off a little bit. And you can see, then I slow the player down. So what the pro players were effectively doing is they didn't need to use assisted jockeying. That's the truth. They didn't need to use it. It's because they knew how, well, some of them still did, but it still helped you out. It was basically like aim lock. So that is the benefit, and that is why essentially I don't use the running, I don't use a normal jockey. I just never use that's why everyone watching my videos like, why on earth don't you use a normal jockey? It's because you don't need to use that's what I've been saying since day one. Um, that you don't need to use it. So now you got that out of the way, the bigger understanding is what's the glitch. Now, I'll explain this to you. So in the game, this is a visual glitch. When you turn this on. What you see grayed out is irrelevant, okay? If you, you can essentially turn any of these settings on and off, whatever you want, okay? Whatever you've chosen, like if you want this, you just press on. Now listen, if you press on, it changes to manual and everything, but the game still uses the settings that you originally chosen. So you could choose, for example, you want this on off, this on on, this on off, this on manual, whatever, let's assisted, and you want this on off. If you turn this now to on, it saves those settings. So this is a visual glitch. So the question is, well, now I would have told everyone this from day one, but the problem was assisted. Um, they used to they introduced agile dribbling movement into the game with left stick dribbling. So what that meant was left stick dribbling was so broken it was basically unplayable. What they attempted to do is to increase the skill gap for the lower tier players and made agile dribbling movements incorporated into left stick dribbling. Now players like myself, manual players, and um, let me tread lightly how I say people who like to use left stick dribbling and not you abuse agile dribbling were stuck because now we were forced with random animations in agile dribbling that we didn't want to. So it made the game unplayable for a lot. And that's why a lot of even ex-pro players are basically quit the game single-handedly because of this control. If no one knew, if no one else knew about this, people wouldn't have come back to the game. So that was the issue, okay? So the reason why everyone kept their mouth shut is why would you want to open your mouth? Why would you want to tell everyone? It's simple. If I tell everyone, it's like full back center back. I told everyone, everyone starts crying and hating on me. So I thought, you know what? It's best to keep my mouth shut now and just keep it for the patrons. Because that's just the way I'm going to do it now. Because everyone gets upset with me in the community. That's the way it's going to be. But that's the truth. That's the way that I didn't do it. I don't care what you think, to be honest, and the reason why I did it. But that's the reason why I didn't explain it. I kept to my patrons. And that's the truth that's been going on. So if you want to fix it, all you got to do is turn this off. Put this all on on because, uh, no, turn this on off. Sorry, make sure you turn this on off. That will fix your left stick dribbling. That's the main reason that I don't care about manual jockeying because I still jockey manually anyway. Turn this to assisted, competitive mask switch on, bam. Now you're using assisted jockeying inside the game. That's it. It's shocking. But if you want to get better at the game, use manual jockeying. I still use manual jockeying because that will help you improve. You know, at the end of the day, the another reason why I didn't explain it, it's the same reason why I don't teach the bridge last year. It's the same reason why I didn't teach the L tornadoes. It's because me teaching you this is not going to help you get better at the game. My job is not for you to abuse mechanics. I don't want you to sit here next year and saying, you know what, I know I'm in the same position because I was spamming bridges last year. Now I don't know what to do. What's a new meta? What's the new corner method, everyone? Why do you feel I don't teach you the corner meta, all these tricks? It's because I don't want you to learn this and then be like to me one year later, oh look, Neil, I haven't improved. That's not my job. So you learn the game properly, 
create a good fundamentals and then you can use the metal or the glitches to get to the top 100 level or edge if you want to go to the pro scene but until you get to that top tier elite level all this stuff is irrelevant it's small glitches that's going to help you out it's not going to help improve your game experience you'll never get better at the game so you can use sister jogging if you want you can watch this video and use it but what i would say is make sure you turn contextual agile dribbling off this is the most shocking situation that's in the game when you turn this on, the master switch, it should be off anyway, but for some reason, it still stays on. It's a shocking thing. So all you got to do is turn it off, put assisted jockeying on, and turn the master switch back on, go into the game. Now, when you change the controller settings, it might reset. When you switch controllers in-game, it might also reset. And if you change accounts, it will reset as well. But... Um, that is based on a lowdown. I thought I'll explain this to you. If you want more information in regards to that runner, that assisted runner jockeying video, it's on my Patreon series, episode nine from last year. And um, patreon.com forward slash nil guys, if you do want to get better at FIFA. Of course, I got my FIFA source series, and of course, loads of other videos explaining everything in depth, just like the one that you just saw. Um, but anyway, link is down below in the description for that. And that is basically what's going on. But I made this video anyway, uh, just for your information. Is this going to help you in the long run? No. With a jock, with a dribbling help you? Yes. But that's why I say to you, if you're going to use assisted jockeying, don't overuse it because it's probably going to cost you in the long run. Just use L2, R2, left down to control your left stick dribbling, and it's going to change the way that you play. And I make this assumption now. A lot of pros, they haven't changed to it yet. Okay, same with ball relative. You haven't changed, pros don't change it because player relative, there's actually a benefit for player switching on the higher end. Ball relative is still consistent in my opinion. But this, mark my words, pros will adapt this soon. Maybe not this year. Maybe not 5 2 1 2 took them a year to adapt it, let pull back center back. This will be adapted next year. I guarantee you that. Because once the pros figure out, that that's the real benefit there's no need for the normal jockey and you can basically go from zero speed to 100 speed without letting go of the jockey button it's going to change the way fifa defending is but anyway guys i'm no guides that is of course the assisted jockeying first glitch video on my channel i don't like doing these glitch videos hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching links down below in the description peace out